Hey YouTubers! So for this week's video, I decided to do a December favorites video because I know I've been kind of slacking on these videos and kind of doing it almost every other month. So I'm fixing that. We're going to do it every month at the last week like we're supposed to. Let's face it, I eat a lot. I'm a huge foodie. These are amazing. Not, I can't say the name of these cookies, but they kind of look like cigars and taste like heaven. Oh my god, they have them in like every flavor, like French vanilla. This one is chocolate hazelnut. They have regular chocolate, double fudge chocolate. Hazelnut and double fudge are my favorite, and seriously, I can eat this entire can in a day. This is my brand new obsession, and it goes with hot chocolate, it goes with coffee, it goes with eggnog, coquito, or as everyone else calls it, like eggnog, but amazing, like more amazing than regular carton eggnog. It's like carton eggnog with sweet condensed milk, coconut milk, cinnamon, and liquor. And it's just, there's so many ways to do it, but mine is like the basic or lazy kind because my mom like overdoes it a little bit and that's a lot of work. I only drink this once a year. Just like the eggnog lattes and Starbucks, they're only once a year. Now moving kind of away from food. Um, my cinnamon caramel swirl candle. It's amazing. Between this one and the hot butter rum, those are my absolute favorites, but I'm completely obsessed with the sweet cooking kind of smells for the holidays, and this was actually my complete favorite for the past like two months. We, we've just been blind candles all day, and it's amazing. Because I know a lot of you have been asking about my hair, like what color is it or what dye do I use. So actually, um, I got it professionally done first, and I just do the keep ups myself. I use um, Adore. This is the color Violet Gem for this length. I used one bottle for my whole head, and it only costs about four dollars. And you find it mostly like beauty supply stores. And for me, it's hard to find. So I actually have to go to New York to find it, and it's hard for me to find it around here now. But yeah, I stack up on these and this is what I do every two weeks, I touch up my hair. And you know, if you use hot water when you're washing your hair, it takes out a lot more dye than cold water does, so I would use cold water if you have a crazy hair color. Along with a shampoo like this, which this one specifically is my favorite, um, my hairdresser gave me this one. And it basically just smells like heaven and coconuts and everything right with the world. You need a sulfate free, so it's right there in this hand, look at this phone right. A sulfate free shampoo, which I know now they're selling more of these. But yeah, this is amazing with the dye and it actually keeps my color a lot longer. And when I am not washing my hair, I am using this dry shampoo, which is my absolute favorite because I know a lot of dry shampoos smell like hairspray and sometimes hairspray just has like a toxic smell as opposed to something pretty and this one just actually smells like really really good and this one is the herbal essence dry shampoo herbal essence naked and it just smells clean and refreshing and it doesn't leave a whole lot of white and then you have to brush it out it's it's pretty light this is my absolute favorite and because I'm constantly like processing like curling and all this craziness to my hair um bio soap this is my favorite thing to put to keep it shiny and to keep it smooth and this is a huge bottle i mean like this bottle can go for like almost 30 dollars or more but in brilliance and co factory they actually have them for like nine dollars so this is amazing and it, seriously this bottle i've had it for like ever and i've only used that much this will last you probably the rest of your life and for nine bucks, the Burns & Factory is pretty damn awesome. My favorite palette. I like to do a very natural looking-ish face. So like even the eyeshadow I have right now, it's the bronzy color. I just love this one. In the summer, I don't use as much eyeshadows because I feel like you're going to sweat it off and it's going to look goopy. 
But yeah, so this is my favorite palette for the month. The Urban Decay Naked Foundation. In case you're wondering, I'm a 3.5. It's finished in here like this. And you squeeze and like nothing comes out. The top is broken. I love this. This was my favorite one. It's completely worth it. It lasts me a long time. It's super lightweight, doesn't crease. So right now I'm trying other foundations, but this is my absolute favorite one. When in doubt, I'm pretty cake naked. As for eyeliners, because you guys know I'm a liquid eyeliner junkie. Anything I've ever said about the NYC liquid eyeliner, I retract that statement. This has seriously become my favorite eyeliner. It is NYC liquid. 887 black and I love the little brush at the end it goes on so smooth and it actually turns matte when it dries and I love that like sometimes I don't always want a super shiny eyeliner I like more of a matte natural eyeliner so it mostly to go with my new palette and this has seriously become my favorite one since my Indian headdress video it has seriously become my favorite and I'm like obsessed with it now it kind of goes right up there with the next one. Those are my two favorite eyeliners ever. Because it's winter and your lips get uber dry and then they crack and then horribleness happens. Seriously, Aquaphor is amazing. Actually, it was recommended to me from um, a doctor a while ago because I just had really, really badly dry lips and no matter what chapstick or blistex or anything I was using, nothing was working. This has saved my life. And so every winter, this is my go-to thing. I don't use lip gloss when I'm not wearing lipstick. This is what I use when I'm at home. I just use this and keep my lips more so that when I do decide to use lipstick, it my lips don't look so chapped. So yeah. And it's also good if you have tattoos. And for my favorite nail color this month, Julep is seriously my favorite nail polish brand ever. Ever. So yeah these two babies this is a purple or Rochelle and this one's Sharna this one's super glittery and it's like uh, it has like a purple tint in it kind of and gold glitter and they go so well together and I love it and this is my color of the month I like how it looks next to me so yeah those are my December favorites and uh, if you guys have any products you would like me to test out for you, you can comment them down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. So, I'll see you next year for another awesome video. So, have a happy new year. And be safe, be merry, and I love you. Bye, guys.